Welcome to the next Premier Pro Quick Tips. Now, these tips aren't exactly official Adobe Quick Tips. They're more ways that I like to work, things that have helped me be a little bit more efficient and juggle all the different things we have to juggle with Premiere. Let's get started. Let's talk about all the work you want to do before you even start editing. This is a folder that's got a lot of different types of media that I may use for my project. We can see up here we've got footage that is cover footage or B-roll, an interview here, oh, an interview in the snow, another interview here. We've got some audio and a graphic. I think it's really important to organize all of my assets before I even open up Premiere. It's going to accomplish two things. One, it's going to make your project more organized. It's easier to import things. And two, you're going to know where to find things when you need to start looking for it. So I would recommend, in this case, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Fish Cover Footage. And I'm going to look for all the footage from the aquarium. Well, that looks like. And I'm going to move it all into there. Then uh, we're going to do a new folder. We're going to call it Snow Interview Video. And I'm going to move this and this and this. All of these things look like the video for that snow interview. Well, I'm left with a couple of uh, little things here. Let's go new folder. Let's call it snow interview. If I could type snow interview audio. I will grab these three files that are for the audio. We have graphics. And we've got this orphan here. Let's call it fish interview or fiosh interview. Apparently, typing isn't my strength. And let's move him into fish interview and let's move that into graphics. What we've done ahead of time is we've organized all of our assets by type. In this case, the snow interview has someone talking, uh, but their audio has been recorded separately on a digital audio recorder. And in editing, we're going to want to synchronize those together. So we have gone through and we've pre-organized our project before we've even started editing. Now, when I open Premiere Pro, I'm going to create a new project. And just for ease, I'm going to save that project in that folder where uh, we have all of our assets. We're going to create a new project. And let's call it Organization Demo. And we're going to select the Browse tool and find the uh, uh, folder that has all of theirs edit parts. And I'm going to save this project into that folder. There are a couple of other things that I also recommend you do. One is select the tab that says Scratch Disks. When the computer has a hard time playing your video files or if the compression of your audio or video doesn't quite match, it may create temporary files, files that the computer can play your content. And so those um, are in, called renders or processed files. And currently, we see that these video previews are going on to drive D. Well, I may want those files to be saved in my project folder just so that everything is neat and tidy. The dilemma is that often, if you don't select where you want these rendered files to go, and these are just temporary files that the computer creates, they'll end up in your user setting uh, in Documents, Adobe, and Premiere Pro, and you will have video files that are on your C drive which you probably don't want because you don't even realize they're there. And over time, they'll begin to occupy a very large footprint on your hard drive. Uh, if you don't know they're there and if you're not regularly cleaning them out, you may go, 
I should have a lot of room on my hard drive, but there's no space here. And it's because all of these temporary files have been saved there and you don't even know they're there. So my recommendation in this instance is to uh, tell the computer that you want the uh, uh, temporary files to be saved in the folder that we created on the desktop. Same as project. Same as project. And finally, autosave. There are a couple of different ways to autosave. Your computer will regularly, automatically save the work you've done about every, depending upon how you've set it, every 15 minutes on average. And currently, that is being set to the C drive of my computer, which uh, works great because it'll synchronize with Adobe Cloud. But if it wasn't my computer, if it was a temporary computer, if all of my media is on a hard drive, I may want to have my autosave also uh, same as project. So once I've done that, I've created a project where the assets, the temporary assets, are going someplace where I can retrieve them, where I can delete them if I need to. And now we have uh, Premiere Pro has opened. So this is the base setup that you may see when you first open Premiere Pro. All of these windows can be closed or opened, but they're fairly straightforward. This is usually uh, uh, the source video playback window. This is your program, how you're putting the parts together. This is your timeline, a representation of your media. And there are other assets down here. But the first thing I want to do is I'm going to select the project organization demo. And if I click and hold, you'll notice that I can move this window around. And by bringing it up and holding it over here, I've moved the organization demo, the project that we're working on, up to this window. It's easier for me to see it rather than down here. I'm going to start importing media. File, Import, and I will find my folder. Here's Edit Parts. Well, by going through and already organizing my media into individual folders, all of the organization that I did in the uh, computer will automatically appear in Premiere if you choose. I can double click into here and see all the footage, or I can just click once on the folder and tell it to import the folder. The beauty of this is that now I have a folder, also called a bin in Premiere Pro, that already has all of my fish footage ready to go. And I'll do the same. File, import, and I'll do my fish interview, import folder. Now I can also press Control I, which is the hotkey for importing uh, media. And I can just work my way through. And we'll do one more. And all my media is already organized in my project. So the great thing is I don't have a project that's just all of these random video files trying to find things. The last thing I want to talk about with organizing my uh, uh, content is, let's say I want to create a sequence. I want to work with the uh, interview here. I can go File, New, sequence, and I'll be presented with a bunch of options. And so if you're not familiar with it, it may be really confusing. Two ways that are very easy ways to create a sequence is I can select one or many clips, and I can drag them down here to the sequence window. And that will automatically create a sequence that matches the settings of my file. Another way I can accomplish that is if I go here to the Herald interview, I can select it and I can grab this icon down in the corner that looks somewhat like a post-it note. 
and drop those files on there, it will accomplish the same thing. It will create a sequence that matches the settings of my file. You'll notice that the sequence that was created has the same name as one of the files that you selected. So I recommend you click it twice and rename it. And we'll call this Don Clouds Interview Sync because we're going to synchronize the audio to this. The last thing I recommend here on this quick tip, which frankly isn't all that quick, I'm going to create a new bin up here and I'm going to call it Sequences and I'm going to start moving all these files into here. Hopefully that helps and it'll get you started to a well-organized project.